I, I grew up along the Illinois River, and I'm an old river rat, and my dad turned me into one at a very young age. In the 46 years that I've been here, uh, there have been a lot of changes. I think the biggest change I've seen is going from sort of a public service agency to a science-based management agency. In 1940s, a new system of collecting fish was invented by a fellow here in Illinois. That system was using electricity and a portable generator. Going along the shoreline, we can collect a certain number of fish to see what kind they are, how big they are, how much they weigh. Fish with a scale, we can determine how old they are. 500. 2443. It's, it's kind of fun being a biologist in Illinois. You get to be a detective. If there's a problem there, we get to detect what that problem is. Uh, common carp were introduced into the United States in the 1890s. That's the major problem, is keeping the exotic fish away from the good fisheries. A common carp, for instance, can spawn two to three million eggs every time she spawns. A bass can only spawn 5,000 eggs. The carp are bottom feeders. They make the water turbid. Bass and bluegill are sight feeding fish, and they can't survive if the water is too turbid. As soon as the population indicates that we need a change, then we try to uh, affect that change. So we use science. The Clean Water Act was probably the most important piece of legislation ever to take place in Illinois and the United States insofar as it's affected the fishery. Since the Clean Water Act was adopted, uh, the fishery has gone through a tremendous amount of change. Uh, water chemistries have much improved, and water chemistry is the most important element in managing fisheries, of course. I think it's the fish biologist's duty in life to maintain those fish that are most desirable for the fishing public. So as those tastes change through the years, then we have to change and react to those tastes. And if a person wants to go musky fishing, this means that we can do it in Illinois. He doesn't have to travel a thousand miles to southern Canada to do so. We have a really good hatchery system in Illinois, and the crown jewel of the hatchery is Jake Wolf Fish Hatchery. And we can grow a large number of fish to be stocked of the right species when we need it. And we can grow millions of fish here, and we can grow fish that are more exotic. And that would be things like muskie and northern pike. Probably the fish that we're really so pleased to have back with us now is the alligator gar. That fish was extirpated, extinct, from Illinois. In the 1960s, I believe, the last individual had been captured. Now we have these young fish in several different waters that are doing really well. You know, these fish grow to 300 pounds, can live 100 years, so it's a monumental process getting these fish reestablished, and I'm think, thinking we're well on the way of doing that. It's been kind of a fun ride seeing how things have evolved over time. You're out in all kinds of weather. Uh, sometimes we're out sampling northern pike or muskie, and the lake is freezing and the nets are, you know, standing up because we can't collapse them. They have ice all through the nets. And it's hard work, and it, it, sometimes it's very dangerous. Fishing is not an easy occupation, but I've done it for 45 years and enjoyed every moment. One of the most significant stories was uh, the kinds of uh, climate that we go out in. A lot of times we're out collecting walleye eggs early in the spring when the waves are running three and a half, four feet tall, and we were pulling a net once over on Lake Shelbyville that had walleye in it to get broodfish for the hatchery. And as we pulled the net, with each succeeding wave, water was coming over the stern of the boat. And uh, one of our former biologists uh, was in charge of the motor and he, he was looking very doubtful and 
all of a sudden he says, well, drop the net, we're going down. <laughs> and we barely made it to the shore in order to avoid being sunk. But uh, that, that was kind of typical. And it's kind of gallows humor, but we, we enjoyed that kind of thing almost daily.